How's it everyone? And uh, thanks for tuning in to the video today. Today I got Ricky Lee joining us. And uh, Ricky here is a professional photographer, social media consultant, and the ultimate tech guy. So um, <laughs> be sure to uh, check out his channel. It's uh, Ricky Lee, right? It's just Ricky Lee? Yeah, it's Ricky Lee on YouTube or just look in the description down below or on any other social media look for me under ricky lee 99 and that's an li not an lee -E. so yeah I'll, I'll be sure to put the card up there and the link down there and whatever whatever people do right it'll be around <laughs> um okay so anyways um so how you doing today i am doing good what are we going to talk about today we're going to be talking about uh well i brought you on because i wanted you to put on your photographer hat and talk to us about maybe give us three things that people can do to uh, take their family photos to the next level. Family photos being still photos, videos, whatever. <laughs> but you know, but everyone you know likes to take photos of their of their kids and their family. After a while, you know, it, it gets kind of redundant. Yeah. But what can we yeah. do to you know take it up? Well, let's. Um Let's break that down. Sure. <laughs> well, well, today we'll talk about the... Um... <laughs> Thank you, Alexa, but uh, we... Shut up. Don't need that right now. <laughs> 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 you gotta love Alexa. <laughs> <laughs> we'll break it down into the gadgets. Okay. And then we can talk about techniques some other time. But, so, you know, they say the, the best camera you have is the one always on you, right? So... I put my case on upside down. So, you know, lots of people, there's no shame using cell phone camera because sure. honestly, some of these are what now? I saw one the other day, it's 108 megapixels. Yeah. My DSLR is only 30. <laughs> and that's the new one I bought. So there's no shame in using uh, phone cams. Yeah. Especially, you know, they've got all the filters and stuff like that, which you're going to mostly do anyway. Right? Right. That's what you're going to you're going to People are shooting too. movies with this thing and, you know, they're, they're making money, you know, as yeah. professionals using their cell phones sometimes. Yeah. Yes. But you shouldn't hire them. You should hire me because I, you know, I make a living off of this stuff. Not like those guys with the cell phone. Yeah. You know, just <laughs> thanks, <Sh> Mark. <laughs> Shameless pandering. <laughs> <laughs> Having said that, I like the, um, there's no shame in using a, a uh, cell phone camera I do prefer to add lenses onto the cameras like I know they're expensive mark and you can tell why they're expensive oh wow yeah, yeah. compared it's got to those some good heft to it this is uh, those cheap ones that quality. you buy on, on uh, Amazon deals and stuff like that but right. these are called moment lenses they do sell these you know made in China cheap Twenty dollars for four lenses. Those will not look good. Um, I mean, they're made of the lenses are made of plastic, and they're just not that good looking. And those will make your camera worse. You get what you pay for. You get what you pay That's, for. It's worth it. You know, I'll send you some sample pictures. Yeah, but yeah, yeah it's worth it. And I, I only have the wide angle lens because I was always thinking about using this to but, travel. Right? Yeah, and honestly, if you have this on your lens doing a telephoto and the young one breaks this, it's way easier to fix this right. than replace the whole phone with this. You're not going to be crying in your, yeah. in your beer about, about the whole thing. You'll still be crying, but not as much crying, as... But yeah, it doesn't hurt as much. I could see this being really great, you know, not only just traveling, but just in general, because when I'm out with my son, I'm carrying everything. I've got his water bottle, I've right. got his blanket, mm -hmm. I've got this and that. And then i got to carry a whole camera system. Yeah. But if it's Which just this and my phone, that's pretty good. It's so much easier, yeah, right? Way easier. The thing I like about the moment system is that the lenses and the case is, are... Okay, let me... You, you buy the starter kit with a case and a lens, right? Mm -hmm. But later on, if you upgrade your phone, you can just buy a new case that supports those lenses. I see. Right? Yeah. So it's 
as a photographer, you invest in glass. That's the, that's the first thing they teach you in quote unquote photographer school. You, you invest in good glass. And I consider this good glass because this as an investment, as long as Moment keeps making good cases for new phones, will always be there. Whereas the ones you, the cheap ones that just stick onto your phone with like some just double sided tape. As soon as the double sided tape is not sticky anymore, you just threw away what twenty bucks for yeah, bucks, yeah. Right? Well, that's that's a great point. Yeah, yeah, that's a great point. So that's why I have, I yes, in the past I said I was not a fan of um, add-on lenses. I always thought they were like, eh. So what changed for you? Moment, yeah. honestly, yeah. they're not a sponsor. If you would like to sponsor either one of us, <laughs> but this brand right here, this this is what changed me. When I saw the quality of the glass that came, the best type of glass you can add to any camera that is, has a, a permanent lens on it, like which means a point and shoot, your cell phone, whatever, right? The best kind of glass you can add to it is one that doesn't change the image quality, that looks like it's not there. Right, yeah. It just made it look different, right. like wider or closer. And these truly achieve that. Just has, it's, it maintains that native feel to it. Yeah. As long as you have lenses on me. Okay. Okay. So what? What's uh? What's the second thing you got for us? Yeah, it's funny because these things die, but I swear by these advanced point and shoot cameras. I have a project called Holo Holo Lens, and this is the Holo Holo Lens camera. Oh, I, this is what you send out? This is the one I send out now. Okay. So the quality is good. The quality is that good. Um, so. Can you explain to people watching what is Holo Holo Lens? The elevator pitch is that it's a well, it's a collaborative art project that shows the life of 808ers living on the mainland or internationally now. So, and what I do every month is uh, try to be every month is I send this camera out to them. They take a picture of their lives for 30 days and they send me back the camera along with a little short little essay about what their life is like and then I compile it on the web and they have a gallery. So far nice. we've had 14 people. And how long have you been doing this? Like how many Three years. years. Three years, awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Four years, years in October. So yeah. So if you're from Hawaii and you're living on the mainland or internationally, you might want to check out Holo Holo Lens. Yeah. Maybe Holo we can Holo send Holo you this camera and you can document what's going on in your life and mm -hmm. uh, share it to the project. Yeah. Uh, right there. That would be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I'm actually running out of friends living on the mainland. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I mean, you can only go so far, right? Yeah. Eventually, yeah. So, yeah, if there's anyone from Hawaii living on the mainland, you know what? Uh, I'll put the link yes. below and then uh, check you. So, what was I going to so do? So, the point and shoot. This, point is, and this shoot. is interesting that you're bringing a point and shoot because. Yes. You know, this feels a little retro, but talk to us about what, what's, what's with the point and shoot. One thing with the point and shoot cameras that happened over the last five years is that the hundred dollar market is gone. The hundred to hundred dollar uh, point and shoot cameras, they're gone. This, when it was new, sold for eight hundred dollars. <laughs> but the image quality out of this thing is there are things that this can do. This one has sports tracking, which will adjust focus every single frame. Wow. Up to 20 pictures. Wow. Right? So that at that point that's pretty much a video. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. pretty much got a video. But this one is great for like in the situation where you're carrying your kid around, you want another, you want something simple that you can just pull out. Yeah, whip it out. Whip it out, take pictures. This has a equivalent of a 24 to 70 lens on a full frame DSLR, which is this. <laughs> Would yeah. you want to carry this plus this right. or this? Because to, to do that shot that you're talking about, right, the sports yeah. shot, yeah. I mean like even with my mirrorless, which isn't that big, it's an A6000, mm -hmm. it's still significantly bigger than this. Yeah. You know, with the lens on too. With the correct lens, yeah. yeah right. But these two have an equivalent lens, equivalent uh, low light capabilities, but this is just smaller and yeah. it smaller works so much longer. better. Yeah, well, it works so much better in the sense that 
I'm not bagging on my DSLR, we'll just move to there. I'm not bagging on this camera. I love this camera. <laughs> it pays my bills, this camera. <laughs> but if I'm out to being Uncle Ricky, there is no way I can have this camera exactly. doing stuff, taking pictures, nieces are running away. Wait, 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 I gotta change the lens because because uh, you're right. now like 100 feet away and this is the wide angle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's not too, it, yeah. I need to finish completing it because I'm, this is part of my I mean, it, it goes to the whole idea that the reality that every camera has a different purpose. Yeah. Right? But, you know, if you want to take the, the ultimate best photos, of course you would go with the DSLR. Now this is a mirrorless DSLR, which is the, I guess they're not called DSLR. This is a mirrorless, <laughs> mirrorless camera. camera. Yeah. <laughs> but um, these are the, this I believe is the next generation of what we're going to be using. I, I think DSLRs are, are on the way out, or yeah. the DSLR as we know it is on its way out. It's just. I swear to you, I switched systems because my back kept complaining. It's a and it's kind of recent that you switched too. Maybe. Yeah, within this year. Yeah, within a year, right? Yeah, within yeah. this year. Yeah. Uh, before summer or something like that. Yeah. So. And now, how's your back? Your back is thanking you. Oh yeah, back thanks me. Yeah. Uh, that was one of the things I was going to show. This is a. Uh, this is the twenty-four to seventy, my standard lens. You can feel how heavy that is. This is the one I used to use with portraits. And you're saying really, this is 18 to 70. This is 24 to 70. 24 this, to 70? Is, this is the same. same. Yeah. Yeah. No, oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> now, one advantage of using the mirrorless system is our lenses are smaller. This is a little bit longer in the zoom, a little, not quite as uh, bright, not quite as good in dark situations, but um, <laughs> can you tell which one my back likes yeah, more? Yeah, no, seriously. <laughs> Well, it's good that the camera, you know, obviously can, you know, all your old glass, you know, still works, but yeah. having the ability to uh, use the new stuff. Use the new stuff. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, so, you know, if you're, the place I found using a DSLR great with kids is if you're in a controlled environment, birthday parties. Kids? I know. Controlled. And, Birthday party is considered control. <laughs> yeah. But it's because they're going to be sitting around a table, you know what the light levels are, they're not going to run away. Yeah. So that's where the DSLR comes in handy. Because by far, of course, this is the best picture they are going to get out of all of this. Your bouquet gets naturally there. Right? Okay, thank you very much, Ricky. This is this is awesome sharing with us, you know, the you know the three um, different ways that we can step up our family photography. So to kind of wrap it up. If you want to step up your everyday carry, your ECD camera carry, yeah. Yeah. if that's even a term, it is, it is, but uh, is, yeah. you can get, I guess, moment lenses, moment you know. lenses to attach to your phone yeah. and um, really kind of step up the, uh, the lenses there. Mm -hmm. Number two, Number two is shoot. the point and shoot, yep. so. which I would say for most parents, this is where you should go. Yeah, mm -hmm. it has all the features that you would want in the next yeah. item here, which is your DSLR, DSLR but in a smaller Big format. Daddy, this is where ultimate image quality is, but it is also one of those heaviest and hardest things to bring around with you. And again, that is for controlled environments where you've got your kid sitting down nicely, behaving and cooperating. Mm -hmm. When the hell is that happening? But. <laughs> 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 okay, but um, so what's the moral of the story here? The moral of the story <laughs> is no matter what camera you've bought, that the best camera is the one that you've got on you. So, you know, don't discount your cell phone camera because really, cell phone cameras have come up a lot in the last few years. Mm -hmm. There are now ones that are 100 megapixels, so yeah. So the real, the real advice after all said and done is, and this is from his words, I'm just borrowing it, keep your cell phone camera lens clean because oh, yeah, you never a, know. Keep it clean because you will never know. That's the ultimate takeaway after yeah. all this stuff. All of this, clean your camera lens. <laughs> all right, yeah. hey, thanks man. Thanks for yep. coming on and no um, be sure to comment, like, subscribe, subscribe to this uh, channel, this video. 
but also check out his channel Ricky Lee yep on YouTube links gonna be down down below and check out our collab video on my channel it's yeah. going to be different yeah it'll be fun <laughs> all right thanks for tuning in thanks again all right all right take care okay thanks for watching dad man vlogging be sure to hit subscribe and keep your eyes out for future videos also be sure to follow dad man blogging on social media so that's blogging with a b so we're on facebook on instagram and twitter at dad man blogging and we also have a website dadmanblogging.com so be sure to check that out thanks again take care